my name's Oliver Jones. I'm an artist um, and painter from uh, Birmingham. I work from A3 Project Space and Studios in Digbeth um, and uh, a studio in, in Shropshire. And I've uh, been commissioned to do a piece of work for New Gary Walsall, um, which we'd been, Zoe and I had been in conversation for quite some time um, leading up to uh, them Walsall offering me a, a show. So uh, when we first came to come and um, uh, talk about what might be happening in the show, I'd, I'd kind of um, thought about what I'd, would have, how I'd have tackled, it, tackled the show um, in normal terms. I, I usually do um, work for gallery spaces um, that really incorporates the, the, the work and research that I do from, from my studio, um, which to date has been looking at um, flesh in the media, um, how it's um, sort of advertised and, 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 and sold back to us in a way, and so how, how skin exists in that sort of um, that, that sphere of society, um, and kind of trying to re-advertise it back in a, in a more uh, a way we're more comfortable, I guess comfortable, uh, a way that we are more commonly um, presented with it. And, and so um, that's, uh, it's been a progression through, th through my recent kind of research. And um, I'd, I'd started getting onto um, uh, tattooing, where, um, I mean, it's, it's getting more and more prevalent in, in society. Uh, it, it's no longer, it doesn't carry any sort of social faux pas that it used to, you know, and the, and the sort of backstories that would be associated with it. And so it not being um, so, um, it being this, this, this social um, norm, now, I guess people don't look into it in in any form of depth, um, and so that's why that's why I was intrigued and started to to look at um, tattooing with regards to surfaces and flesh and discoloration of flesh and um, those sort of things. Uh, so that's where my trail of thought had come uh, from, and then. When I came to Walsall and they presented me with this space, I'd suddenly seen the the, the, the concrete space that was a, a above and kind of developed this idea of creating almost uh, like an altarpiece style um, work, which uh, you know later developed into making this like triptych. Uh, and so it follows it follows largely my, my work process of of like a draw a drawing um, a pastel drawing. People call it pastel painting. I'm not particularly bothered. I just do it in pastel, so it's uh, and uh, so it was kind of then once I've seen the space and what potentially was was coming out of it, it was it was kind of the the, the hardest thing to do was kind of get this image that I'd had sort of amalgamating in my head onto some sort of physical um, into a kind of physical form really, and um, I'd kind of started messing around with um, myself in certain. Um, scenarios uh, basically all centered upon uh, like a, a classical sculpture that's intrigued me for quite a long time I've worked with it before in certain commissions that I've done which was um, a classical sculpture of um, Lee Alcuin and his sons which uh, sort of portrays um, the Trojan priest Lee Alcuin who's being punished by the divine beings Apollo um, for his misdemeanors during the Trojan War uh, but as a result of him being punished, his two sons are embroiled in his in his agony, and I kind of saw that as um, an analogy, really, of how it was being uh, how um, tattoo artists also become part of this story that the individual is telling when they have uh, a tattoo work or a body modification in any way, you know, because because now tattooing has become so normalized people are going so much further out of their way to be individual and, and show their individuality uh, and so in doing so they're having to do it more often than not through a, a, um, almost a funnel of of what is possible and largely through the you know the tattoo artist the body modification artist uh, and so I thought I, I kind of saw the the the, uh, the parallels between the two sons having to deal with the angst and the and the suffering of Lacquan, um, and so I, I, it being such a dynamic and an interesting and uh, prevalent sculpture anyway, I uh, 
I thought it was a good instance to, to start. And so I started looking at different um, ways of using the sculpture in, in telling the story in a more modern reference, with a more of modern reference. Um, and so that's where, that's where it was based, really. And, and so a lot of the time, for the last 12 months, I've been working, uh, researching how I can use, yeah. how I can use this sculpture um, and tell this, this, this modern, uh, this, the modern uh, parallel with it. Um, then when I started talking with uh, Delvine Canvas, who's a tattoo studio uh, in London, they, um, they, they had these, this really uh, kind of a unique and, and, and spiritual reason and, and drive for their, their, their artistry. Um, and it, it only, you know, strengthened what was, you know, it being an altar piece, you know. Um, so I started working with Divine Canvas and thankfully um, two of the artists there uh, agreed to be models for it. Um, so once I'd got the models in place, it was a case of just taking the taking a, a resource image that I could then work from. Yeah. I'd take back to the studio and I could render it. I could, I, I tend to work from just a, an A4 photograph and I work straight onto paper. Um, and then just, it's a, it's a case of layering fine layers of chalk, almost mixing on the canvas paper. Um, and then, um, I mean, we've, this, I'm, I'm really quite, Glad that I've come up with a result that is close, as close as I can make to what initially came into my head when I started thinking about this project. So, um, and I think it's a really good representation of what I was trying to say in the first place, without having to create like I would have normally a whole series of different drawings of, um, you know, the tattoo-based, you know, skin. Uh, and so I'm, I'm really quite happy that this is a good reflection of what I was trying to say in the first place.